You remember for bumping mics, I said I was going to bring in some hats for you guys? Yeah. yeah hell yeah. So here's some. Fuck yeah, dude. It was Jeff, so funny. Sorry. Jeff Ross, David, I only David have a very tell. limited amount. This is for Christine. This is for you, Dan. I'm yeah. sorry. But I have shirts, too. So Black maybe Lou. you guys want some. You know I can't fit that hat. <laughs> I, I have fetal alcohol syndrome, which means that hat does not fit my head. Dan, well, if you put, it on, the, say, put yeah. it on the last hook, this will be the best. God damn it. This always happens to me in my life, and it's always embarrassing. And it I is. Wow. That's ridiculous. I feel horrible. No, now I have to do it in front of David Tell. This sucks. <laughs> no, it's good. Put on the very last one. Oh, Look. you're right. Oh, God damn it. It doesn't even go <laughs> the last one. Did it break open? Yeah. Your head split open the last hook? Yeah. Man, Black Lou really got a kick out of that. So that would be... Look, watch. I'll try to go... <laughs> now snap it. Jesus, <laughs> man. Yeah, but if this was Shark Tank, that would be your thing. Yeah. Now. I go, now here's My a head proposal. For, a hat it's... for people with fetal <laughs> alcohol syndrome. Did you guys um, watch a lot of TV? I see you both I as did. more sports oriented. Like, hey, let's go out and throw the ball around. No, no? we didn't have dads. I, I did that oh. too. I, well, I did that with my friends. I thought, yeah. right, same as you. As I got older. No, when I was a kid, it was very TV. So I watched a lot of TV shows that people my age are not that aware of. And Christine knows some of them. You know, she knows those shows from Nick at Night. She said, but I would watch them just late night on TV, and that would be like. Uh, I think the Honeymooners to mm -hmm. uh, Carol Burnett show. I used to watch really? a lot. Really? Yeah, with uh, Tim, what was his name? Tim Conway. Tim and Conway. And Harvey Corman. Yeah. I used to watch that show. Uh, yeah, a ton. Taxi. I used to watch like Mama's that. House. She used to end every show with the Q&A with the audience. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. they'd always have like, I'm from Missouri. <laughs> you like, she'd meet her crowd. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of frightening. Yeah. The worst was when Tracy Ullman would do the thing with the crowd at the end, and she'd go, oh, go home. <laughs> Get out of here. Go home. <laughs> that stupid voice. <laughs> Get, oh, what are you doing? Go home. So like, like she does a thousand characters, and they're all an old, weird English witch. <laughs> like, that was my, like, you go to school, and, like, you can't wait to get home to watch some TV. Yeah. Like, that was just, like, and eat, like, like really bad food. And my oh, mom yeah. would make me say, Sandwiches and you know I was like in like in the South Park I was like the fat kid you know, <laughs> I was just like my mom you know sandwich. Sandwich. sandwich and like uh, these kids now like they don't even need that because they have the phone so they can like just do whatever they want to do it like but we had to like race home dude racing home from the bus stop I knew if I got home at a certain time I could watch two Saved by the Bells really? into two Brady bunches mm -hmm. no, you're absolutely right Isabella if you guys got rid of cable it wouldn't matter much. Yeah, really. What do well, you you watch everything on Hulu and and Netflix and stuff? Yeah, and everything's just on demand. You it is a crazy thing to live through. And I every year I get a new technology that I'm willing to to believe in. What is and it like now? give it to? I'm trying to think what next year's is going to be. I didn't believe in a online online payment was a big one for me. But okay. now now I'm okay with. Are it. you? I'm not into that either. Yeah, you have a flip phone. You're yeah, still I have a like... flip phone. I don't Uber. I don't do any of that stuff. You don't Uber. You just I don't all yellow cabs. I don't. What do if it. you're in a t What if you're on the on road? The road. And you need. Then I then I guess I have to walk, good man, <laughs> like, like Chai Quang Kane and oh. Kung Fu. I'm just walking through the desert. No, when I was out in L.A., I was just out there, and I told this to Nikki Glazer earlier because we both were out in L.A. like doing shows, and like uh, I took regular cabs. It was really weird that to like weird. be the only guy waiting, like hailing a cab. Like I was there to uh, like solve the Black Dahlia murder. <laughs> <laughs> like take Don't me to Hollywood and Vine. Don't you understand? <laughs> the guy that was buying the first Superman is linked to this murder, and I can prove it. It goes all the way up to the studios. And they no, go, this guy. Guys, those it's cab drivers are not our cab drivers. They are like, it's like a small club. Like, you have to definitely, I, it definitely, there's some kind of initiation. Really? It's an Armenian, like, hey. some kind of like burn a card with a dove feather. Like, some kind of weird, like, <laughs> have you blood in, you? blood out. Yeah, like, if you borrowed a cab driver's car and showed up, they'd be like, did you not do the walk of fire? <laughs> and they don't know any places outside of their uh, little world. No, no like, I, yeah, I'm Take me saying. to the Melrose Improv. Improv! <laughs> they, like, just repeat it. I'm telling you, that's what I'm. I was off. I didn't do Uber for a long time either. I stayed away from that one too and just did cabs. However, once you buy into the technology, it is way better. It, it is. is significantly better because you don't have to say anything. When you get in, he's got a map to where you're going already. Let's play a game. Okay. Ready? Let's try and guess how many people in this room have ridden on an electric scooter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to say. Be, since I'm, it's my game, I'll yeah. say right away I have not. So you have ahead. not. Okay. I'm I... going to say you have. Have not. Really? I'm um, down one. Not. Down one. You're up. Electric scooter. I've never no. Been on one. No. 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 Never. Never? Absolutely not. Well, here's what happened. Oh. oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Of all the people who are, I, I thought Jay was not. Yeah, me. you were waiting for Jay to be like, nah, bro. I was in I'm San Diego, there. and okay. I yeah. saw him lying around all outside, and I, where I had to go, 
I walked it every time, but it was like a half mile or so walk. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. And then I saw them laying around. I go, that, they look like they're kind of fun. They yes. do look like they're kind of fun. They're and fast. so I got the whole app and okay. loaded it up, and they go. There, and then I got on it. And, uh, you know, before I, I put one foot on it and, like, push the button to see what it kind of does, and I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that, it goes. <laughs> then I got on it, and it says you're supposed to kind of kick a few times, and then it'll start catching. I think I was too heavy for it. Oh. So it didn't ever really caught the motor part. So then I just didn't want to be embarrassed and get off it with, like, an angry, like, stupid anymore. <laughs> so I just, like, foot cranked myself the whole way there like an idiot. Yeah. I looked like an asshole. And then it, just Asian kids just cruise like like fucking move. Tokyo drifting through yeah, everything. Like, move analog. I was a fat kid. Yeah, <laughs> man, man, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm too big for it. Yeah, I have to get the big and tall for it closes. I, I got a party. A big and tall scooter. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Spokane, uh, it was Halloween, so right away like everyone's costumed up, but they're also on the scooters, so it's really <laughs> weird to see. And they're like drunk, and they're like going like no helmets, you know, just like dressed up as like uh, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> going like right into the bar like, yeah. like eh, wiping yeah. out everywhere so Dude, I, think, I think that's cool I'm sure these guys have all done it Electric Never. Scooter? No Car Electric Scooter? What am I I thought I was uh, I thought <sighs> Well it's not in New York really yet No no I know It, won't, it shouldn't be I really hope they don't They should do a one two punch of like pot is legal and scooters <laughs> gridlock. Holy shit. Let me gridlock. Tell you right, gridlock. Scooter gridlock. I mean, there'll All be the a thousand up. scooter deaths a year if it's in, in New, New York. York. You can't sure. have it. Yeah. Oh, it's dude. impossible. When they found out how to pop the governor off those things and just take them without using it. Mm-hmm. I really. And what it, about? It is a weird rule that it's just like, you know, drop it on the street wherever you found it. Who gives yeah. a shit? Whatever. We don't care. Yeah. What are we, nerds? <laughs> we really are designing jobs. I talked to a. Uber driver about this well, the other day, pretty just pretty about the and Dave Smith used to have a pretty great joke, but he used it as being on a desert island. Mm-hmm. But we always make all the jokes we talk about on the show a lot. Our part in the apocalypse, yeah. like what it's going to be after the you know when we're walking dead life, mm-hmm. and uh, I think we have to really start making our way to the Midwest. That's what I've decided because really? what skills do we forget all the technology? We have no technology. We have no, no. electricity. And I feel like we're in a pile of, like, web designers and mm-hmm. fucking, you know, fashion buyers. Like, mm-hmm. who's going to, who of us in this build, in this Media room right market. here, is going to kill, skin, uh, cook, like, dice up and cook a uh, fucking deer? I couldn't even do the process of, I don't know if I could kill it. Uh, yeah, that'd be real tough. <laughs> That's weird because it, in New York is known for its chefs, but yeah, we have very few hunters. <laughs> That's yeah. really going to be tough. We got here. Gordon oh, Ramsay, oh, but we got we're all we're all gatherers, we no have so hunters. Many guys, you know, fusion food you know, recipes. That's great. He goes, let me get it on the plane. I'll give you a nice Asian fusion deer. With <laughs> it is funny. The people you want, as soon as the shit goes haywire, the people you're going to want to be right next to are you are. Do- Wild Trump supporters. Yep, right. <laughs> so yeah. Everybody who everyone says they hate, you're going to want to buddy up to that guy real quick because he people, knows how to kill an elk. Some mm-hmm. people that you called um, dumb. <laughs> you're like, you guys are dumb, and they're like, I know how to farm. You're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Hillary had some good ideas. <laughs> I just really, I, I, I realized as a what would your forty one year old, I lack. Almost all skill that doesn't involve technology to survive. Dave, well, did you ever go camping? Real camping, never. No, I was Did in you? Boy Scouts. So, you were. Yeah. You know, I was too, but I so think we were all me. Good. How many badges? I would say I was somewhere. I was ten. I was not really. Um, remember, this was like right after the Vietnam War, so being in a uniform was really tough. It was really tough. <laughs> Did to they do. call you baby killers? <laughs> I was spat on many a time coming out of an airport. But uh, <laughs> it was funny. I screamed. It was funny. Like it was more of like a get high in the woods kind of scene because it was still like there was no helicopter parenting. It was more like you know, okay, you guys, you're out there, you're camping, you know, yeah. tang and all that kind of stuff, and you know, making fires that you don't need, and also, just like having hear, good times. You know, you wouldn't hear from your parents or contact them the whole time you were gone you couldn't not at all like if something happened to you at boy scout camp which did happen to me i was hit on the head with a uh, log that they would have to like uh send a runner they would have to send (laughs) the fastest that's so funny (laughs) skip take this run it down to the the fire trail you must run (laughs) i'm pretty sure the only boy scout camping trip i went on was a setup for a guy to uh, a couple guys to molest all of us but i just think he wasn't attracted to me (laughs) i can only guess that because we went to in the middle of the woods, I mean an abandoned, we all slept like in an abandoned house in the middle of the woods. It was, it, it, like- it, to be called a cabin wasn't fair. It was like a place where crackheads would sleep if this was in a city. 
It was like a boarded up weird thing that they put a fire in the fireplace. Pretty but badass. Everyone slept on the floor. It was freezing cold, like leaves inside. That's like not a, the Boy Scouts. And I'm t- <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's but, the caravan. That was I the think Blair you were part Witch. Of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yes. the Blair Witch. No, I'm telling you, that's what it felt like. The whole vibe was very bizarre. And you guys just went in this old yeah, house. Yeah, like, I, I swear to you, like something like that. That's pretty badass. No, it's not. Wow, man. that is cool. No, it's and, not, and, guys. And it's terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, it's terrifying, but that's what makes it so cool. Look at well, that. You have fans yeah. all over the country. So let me tell you, I was in L.A., right, and I had nothing to do, so I went downtown L.A. They yeah. have this thing called the Death Museum. Have you guys heard of no. this? No. It's pretty cool. It's got, like, all the serial killer stuff in it. It's got, like, just weird, like, Polaroids of, like, just, like, weird deaths and, like, car accidents from, like, the 60s and just, like, all this crazy stuff. You know the guys from the Heaven's Gate, that, yeah. that mm-hmm. cult? Oh, yeah. They bought the bunk beds so you can, like, look in at these, like, dummies laying in the bunk bed so you can, like, and even that's, that's kind of so- creepy. Oh, that's so rock and roll hall of fame yeah, of it. Yeah, and, so really but good. I said it was kind of like hot topic for adults. You know, yeah. it's kind of like this weird, and there's all the goth people in there. You know, oh, like dude. the goth kids of LA are in there. And I was like walking around with the old man, and I was like waiting for one of the goth kids to go like, "Do you want to take me home and do that to me?" And yeah. I'm like, Whoa. yeah, you're just looking. You go, I'm just looking at this skin lamp. You should have sold. It was all that kind of stuff. You should have sold stuff. individual razor blades outside for all the sad girls. Like, you go, hey, here you go. And you, it was you, let some of that, you let some of that pressure out of your thigh, you'll feel better. Here's the best part here's a dixie cup for a trip <laughs> they go hey can we get a they have like my headshot like they just like download it and they go can you sign this and i go you got to put it up on the wall like a dead careers yeah. that'd be great uh, like yeah. a new wing yeah put me right next to toys r us yeah. <laughs> jeffrey is it very graphic the stuff they show it's yeah it was really it was more than you thought and it's also like uh like they had a whole tape of an autopsy you know like you get to see like from beginning to end i don't know who was sitting there and then of course this you know the uh, cg allen stuff like all that kind of stuff in there, and uh, they say they have another one in New Orleans, which I assume is more uh, that's all spicy. Gator. That's all yeah, gator, gator bodies. <laughs> oh, you want to see how a gator ate a man? You walk through a gigantic gator head. Yeah. You, you gotta walk into the belly to see all the good. It's shit. all reptile deaths. Yeah, all oh, this is serpentine related <laughs> death. <laughs> Everything in here got killed or is a lizard. I tell you what, I used to say that I think I want to see those things, but I really don't want to see too much. I'll tell you what, though. Banned from TV when I was spending the night at my friend's house, he put on that tape, banned from TV, Mm -hmm. and I remember the girl getting getting hit by the train. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, fuck. And then there's uh, the one right after that is, um, and this actually links into the story that we wanted to bring up for Dave, but in Mm -hmm. Brazil, there was a, a hostage situation, and the guy took his stuff off and tried to act like a hostage, and one of the federales knew it was him, and right when he comes through, they just fucking catch him with a shotgun in the chest. Yeah, wow, And you see, see it. Like, yeah, you like, watch him like slowly go down on like, and stuff. And yeah. he goes down, he's like... Yeah, we see that. It also had like, a, a student uh-huh. getting shot in the chest or yeah. something. And oh, the wow. guy fucks up the suicide. Yeah, but the, there was that one... It was a Philadelphia... Um, politician years ago that uh-huh. killed himself on live TV. Oh, that's right, yeah. But I mean, when they you have see that, that in the museum, they do. Yeah, have but that. you're. But the the thing is, I've actually gotten almost without even meaning to desensitized to so much stuff that when yeah. I, was, I was like, I can't. The first beheading, I I think a beheading, I still have a hard time with. But that first one that came out, the one that everyone yeah, saw, yeah, yeah. That, what, Yahoo put Daniel, it on. Daniel, uh, I forget his name now. I feel terrible, but not it, Daniel Pearl. Was it? Yeah, Daniel mm-hmm. Pearl was yeah. the journalist. Yeah. They when they fucking no he was like a this guy was like a contractor or something the first one they killed, and they showed the video came out and it was like you know do not watch and I watch and I really was one of the only things ever when it was over I was like I wish I didn't see that I really, but then we watched that video everyone was getting I felt like a weirdo because we watched the video of the girl <laughs> right. hanging out the d- window of the car like showing her tits and then like you know a, a fucking, oh, I never saw that it hits like a pole it's yeah. and I can is, I, she, I, is she beheaded I mean yeah yeah it's I gone. Video. You can't so see it, but you little, see you, you, hear just, it. you see like a ting, like you yeah. know her body's like limp and it, it ends right there. But I can watch that now without like grimacing. It almost it's very weird. I don't you know why you, you get desensitized. You don't mean to because I'm like it's horrible things. Yeah, yeah, but you like later in the like later when you go to sleep, then you, then the images like come into your head. Like when you lower your filter, that's that's like when they just like pop in. I watch yeah. cartoon. And when I go into hotel rooms, mm-hmm. I do you there it is. When you go to a uh, so she is she dead? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, she's a dead woman. When you oh, go to sleep in hotel rooms, we're in hotel rooms a lot. I think Dan, you said you're all lights off, TV off, right? Yeah, everything. To go off. to bed, do you go to bed everything off? Um, 
Yeah, pre- well, it really depends on the room. If it's a suite, and I'm not saying that I rate a suite, but sometimes you play Vegas, and yeah. they give you like that conference sure. room area. Yeah. That creeps me out more than when it's... I always go, I just need like a little room. I don't need like that extra like, yeah. you know, I'm going to have like Planet Ocean's Eleven. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is there for. Yeah. Like I'm having a peace treaty, you know, or something. <laughs> you go, I have some uh, other world leaders are getting in tomorrow. Yeah. At like seven. I'm meeting with the Legion of Doom. Yeah. Or so, I went to a hotel that, with you once where they had you like a, a weird board, like boardroom attached to the yeah. hotel room. I remember that. That was awesome. Oh. And it's really funny to eat like a like a subway sandwich like at this gigantic table. Like <laughs> Viking the dinner. loneliest boy uh, in the world. Hey, 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 look at all this sandwich for none of my friends. <laughs> but yeah, no, if I had that room, then I'd have to keep a light on or two, just because I want to know what's going on. I always right. keep a light on. I keep the TV on with no volume. Weird. I keep a light on like by the really? front door of it. <laughs> the TV with no volume, and I watch uh, cartoons, like you know, like the Family Guy type cartoons on my computer. What would happen if all, you turn all off all night long? Like you just need that all night long just to keep you from. When I fall asleep, eventually the computer will just like it kind of does that. Like, are you still watching this? Acknowledge it. But so I don't TV care when that on. happens. But if I wake up for five minutes, if not even, I say if I just wake up and open my eyes and I see that it's th- that screen, like continue watching or leave it off, I. Always hit continue when it comes back. Really, on and I go back to sleep. Yeah, Weird. wow. Christine had to learn uh, to sleep with. You were a sleep in the dark person. She had to learn to sleep. Well, so sleep even at home, you have to keep a light on. Not a light. Oh, TV, TV though. You keep okay. the TV on while you sleep the entire time at night. It goes off eventually. But you know that's like really bad for you. Well, I Is feel it? like I'm fine. Yeah, they're saying like for your sleep cycle, it's really bad to sleep in. They think it's well, bad. How else am I going to watch Hellraiser <laughs> Judgment? Yeah. Well, oh, well, that's you know the thing. Yeah, Fuck I can you. only watch horror movies late. Like Christine falls asleep, and then for whatever reason, her sleeping presence is the only thing that will save me from monsters. Okay. So really? you're very powerful in your sleep. Mm-hmm. It's. Well, I'm telling you, it's very weird. I would never watch a horror movie late night on the road. I don't never yeah, in a that's million tough. years. It wigs me out. I get that fear. Sometimes I walk a little fast getting out of the elevator, like a club quarters hotel in yeah. San Fran where you stay. I was like windy hallways. That's terrible. Something like that when you get off and it's that's just shining. It's stuff. just quiet and and empty, and you're just walking. And you just hear all you hear is your footsteps and your bag swinging or whatever. And it's uh, and you're like this is haunted. It has to be. Look at this hallway. I get very wigged out. And then the ice machine goes, and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I piss my pants and start crying. You room switched rooms because it was haunted, dude. Straight up, Van- I, I've Vancouver. been in a haunted room too. Vancouver. Have the you comedy moved? Mix. You asked to move? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've the room in the comedy once. mix. I don't know what it was. I was trying to go to bed, and I was lying there, and I just it sounded like a pipe was dripping, and then I walked, and then the the noise moved, and it was fucking with me, and I called downstairs. I was like, can I move? I, I, I'm hearing something can I move and they're like yeah sure of course and then I moved rooms and slept great and then did they tell you it was haunted no I never found that out mm. kind of just ran I don't know. I bet you there's a lot of like people who are into that who would want to stay in the room because it's haunted. That's really weird to me when people are like, "Yeah, no, let's go to this haunted house and stay. You pay, you pay like six hundred bucks. The place, some lady got raped and murdered downstairs. You're like, I'm good. That's You're like for- a, that's like a weird people travel around to like these these sites. You know? Yeah, that's a weird. Would you thing. take a great deal on an apartment if like a junkie no. died there? Nope. No, I, I've actually like had had like apartments where people did die and all that kind of stuff, and they just now have though? to tell you like that's part of it. Like they have to tell you the record. But does it matter to you if it's someone just died in their bed of old age or heart that's attack? Fine. That's fine. You're okay with that, but yeah. if a murder, you wouldn't. No, nope, I would rather it be someone cooler than an old age person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they go, this guy died getting his dick sucked and doing a fucking crack and heroin. That would be good. That's a badass. If he's haunting me, that guy's a party. Can I sleep in sunglasses? 